let's go to the full spoilers for My Hero Academy Chapter 406, so, loading. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and before we dive into the content of this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell, that way you won't miss out whenever there are new videos. No more delay, let's get to the video. Chapter 406, Understand Your Own Quirk The chapter starts with an update on the battlefields. The battle at the hospital is over, and the injured are being treated. The Nomuano Kudo Island has been defeated, Toru and Aoyama are freeing everyone from the plants and are still fighting Gashly in the Takoba Arena. Hound Dog and the Katsubatsu people have captured Skeptic. Kamakiri and Kurawaro helped complete the evacuation to Katsubatsu, and all the villains from Jaku have been captured, but the whereabouts of Eraser Head, Present Mike, and Kuro Jairi remain unknown. We see Nagant lying on top of that building. She remembers Lok Lok saying the plan depends on her faith in Deku and thinks, Izuku Midoriya. We return to the fight, and All Might is impressed by Bakuku's speed. Edge Shot then explains what happened to his quirk. The speed he unlocked just before dying surprised even Shigaraki all for one himself, so he's probably in the process of understanding something new about his quirk. He needs to keep using it. All for one falls inside a building and gets upset but says he'll have to kill Bakuku later. Cut to Shigaraki, and he says it's okay, he just needs to break Bakuku again. Deku starts an internal monologue, saying that so far, he has used his sense of danger to dodge, but he hasn't found a way to deal with Shigaraki's regeneration plus decay plus superhuman body yet. He can only use the gear shift one more time, and when that's done, the counterattack will be brutal, but Deku decides that the time is now. He activates the second user's quirk, and what follows are two pages showing Deku slash Shigaraki and Bakoku slash All for One saying, go beyond. But All for One starts moving towards Shigaraki, which annoys Bakoku. All for One says the explosion quirk isn't as strong as Endeavor's Hellflame or Dark Shadow, and he can deal with it later. He can't let a random guy like Bakuku accelerate his regression further. But Bakuku finally understands, pain is the key. When the sweat that should come out of his hand runs through his whole body, the pain is unbearable. He has to pinpoint where it hurts the most and master timing to unleash stronger explosions. Bakuku is flying as fast as all for one. He's hitting the ground multiple times and feeling pain, but at the same time, he's laughing and impressed with his own speed. He remembers when he wondered if he could still catch up to Izuku, but now he feels like he can even surpass him. Cut to the evacuated civilians, and Mitsuki tells Masaru to look at the screen. He says he can't because their son is facing all for one. But Mitsuki says they have to watch the fight because she's sure Katsuki must be smiling as he always does. All for one is bewildered. Why is this random guy getting him more worked up than All Might? And that's when it clicks, it's because he looks like the second user of One for All. If you're looking for Yoichi, Lord Demon, he's already gone. You killed him, says the second user in a flashback. And that's why he's so angry. If the second user hadn't reached out to Yoichi, none of this would have happened. It's all your fault, Kudu, shouts all for one. Are you going senile? I'm the one and only Kaken Bakugu. End of the chapter. These were the spoilers for chapter 406. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Until next time, thank you.